The first will be award of honorary doctor of science. And I ask the Dean Faculty of Science and Technology to gently walk upstage through my right. And I will ask Colin Sodote to walk to the stage to the left side. I now call upon the Dean Faculty of Science and Technology to present the candidate for award of Honorary Doctor of Science. Madam Chancellor. Madam Chancellor, the following one candidate whom I have the honor to present to you was approved by council and Senate for conferment of the honorary degree of Doctor of Science Honoraris Kausa, Professor Dr. Patrick Vakoyen. Thank you very much. We applaud Professor Vakoyen. May I request you to come upstage kindly through my right side. next to me. I shall now ask Professor Koli Sodote to pronounce the citation for Professor Vakoyen. Madam Chancellor, Council Members, Vice Chancellor, colleagues, Senators, ladies and gentlemen, the citation for Professor Patrick Vakoyen. Professor Patrick Vakoyen is a citizen of the Netherlands where he was born on the 21st of May 1969. He grew up with two sisters and one brother in the northeastern part of that country, in the towns of Emen and Vendam, and once played football for FC Grondigen youth team. He has a wife and five children, three of whom are girls and two boys. Professor Vakoyen has four degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Engineering from the University of Utrecht in the Netherlands, a Master of Science degree in Social and Political Philosophy from the University of Amsterdam, obtained in 2000, a Master of Public Administration from Harvard University in 2004, and finally, a PhD in Sustainable Development Dip Diplomacy from the University of Wageningen in the University in Netherlands, obtained in 2010. He has had thereafter a very stellar professional history. After his studies, he worked for the Dutch government as a special advisor in the Ministry of Infrastructure and Water Management between the years of 2000 and 2004, and then left the Netherlands and went to work for the UN peacekeeping mission in our neighbor Sudan, and later worked for the World Bank, where he served as a special representative on climate change from 2012. Before then, he has served in the same institution as a senior partnership specialist and the head of the agriculture and climate change. He also served as a key negotiator for the Department of International Affairs in the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Agriculture and Innovation in the Netherlands. Since 2018, he has served as the founding chief executive officer of the Global Center on Adaptation, an international organization which acts as a solutions broker to accelerate, innovate, and scale adaptation action for a climate resilient world. He also serves as the Ban Ki-moon Chair on Climate Adaptation Governance at the University of Groningen, Netherlands, and you now know that from a short while ago, also as the Chair of our Rod Wangari Madai Institute for Peace Studies. He is, in addition, also served as a Professor of Practice in Sustainable Development and Diplomacy at the Fletcher School of Law in the United States. Professor Vakoyen has written academic papers focused on, focusing on sustainability and governance and is regularly published in the media, including in The Guardian, in The New York Times, Washington Post, Reuters, CNN International, and Newsweek, as well as appearing on Sky News, BBC World, and CNN International. Professor is fluent in his native Dutch, also in English and Spanish. Ladies and gentlemen, just a little bit about his leadership in academia and the knowledge industry. 
Professor is a distinguished global climate adaptation leader who has combined academic excellence with practical policy leadership at the international level, embodying much of what we value and aspire at our university, as captured in our philosophy that the Vice Chancellor very ably captured in his speech. He has taught in the universities in the USA and his native country of the Netherlands. Over that career, he has supervised 100 master students, over 20 PhD students, and has more than 50 publications in scientific papers, impactful technical reports, and seminal contributions to global renowned uh, print media. We summarize for you uh, some of those seminal publications. In 2020, he was appointed as the Ban Ki-moon Chair of Climate Adaptation and Global Governance Program at the University of Groningen in the Netherlands. In this position, he has been involved in designing a curriculum for a master's program in climate adaptation, in also in supervising doctoral candidates and linking students and researchers to a global network of climate adaptation institutions. In addition, as the CEO of the GCA, he has provided leadership in and contributed to the public publication of several catalytic publications, the most renowned of which is the annual State and Trends in Adaptation Reports, and we give you the titles of the 2020 report and the 2021 report, which focus on Africa, with the 21 report being titled, How Adaptation Can Make Africa Safer, Greener, and More Prosperous in a Warming World. In his regular contributions to the media, he continues to advance the agenda for adaptation, as evidenced by the over 30 recent newspaper articles, the latest of which, just being a few weeks ago, on the 9th of September 2022, when he wrote in the Newsweek, is Afri Africa is doubling down on climate adaptation, and here's why it deserves support. And you will know in a short while why that's important. From those writings, he has shaped research in the fields of sustainable development diplomacy, climate adaptation, climate smart agriculture, and landscape restoration. In terms of leadership in global climate adaptation, which is a key focus of what Professor Vakoyan has done, he's long been a, a champion of causes that are dear to all our hearts. In his words and deeds, there's a constant theme to make the world a better place. He has dedicated his career to working alongside global leaders to drive the climate adaptation agenda. In 2012, he became the World Bank Special Representative uh, and spokesperson in UN meetings on climate change and helped to shape the climate change agenda. In 2015, he was the lead expert on the global effort to put a price on carbon ahead of the climate summit, which came up with a landmark Paris Agreement. Thereafter, he has been able to mobilize support from political, business, finance, and international agency leaders from across the globe to commit to expanding carbon pricing to cover 25% of global emissions by 2020 and achieve a 5% coverage within the next decade. In addition, Professor Vaikoyen is helping shape the future of adaptation action in 48 countries most threatened by climate change, including Africa, the Caribbean, Latin America, and the Pacific, through his role as the managing partner of the Clim Climate Vulnerable Forum. He's also initiated the State on Trends Adaptation Report that I've spoken about in a short while. On the 5th of September 2021, Professor Vaikoyen convened the second Climate Adaptation Summit at the GC headquarters in Rotterdam, where he brought together a whole lot of leaders to raise the world's ambition on adaptation. He was also the instigator of the Groningen Science Declaration on the 22nd of January 2021, where he was joined by five Nobel laureates and more than 3,000 global scientists with a focus on climate change adaptation and the COVID-19 pandemic. That declaration called on world leaders, decision makers, and investors to change the way we understand, plan, and invest in a changing climate, and in doing so, to ensure that we limit future damage. Professor Vaikoyan also pursues climate adaptation justice for the world's most vulnerable people, wherever they may be. He's not just worked for the world, he's also contributed to Africa. He is truly a friend of the continent. Under his bold leadership, he is leading the organization in collaborating with global leaders, including President Makisal, who is the chair of the AU, including the managing director of IMF and the president of the African Development Bank, to mobilize 
US billion, US 25 billion in adaptation financing for Africa through the Africa Adaptation Acceleration Program. And out of that target, he has already influenced 300 billion in investment for adaptation in Africa since the program was launched in April last year with a view to scaling up and accelerating climate change adaptation across Africa. Professor Vaikoen continues to support other initiatives to ensure that Africa receives sufficient support for its adaptation initiatives. On the 5th of September this year, he moderated an African Adaptation Summit uh, themed Friends of GCA High Level Dialogue for COP27, which as we all know will be hosted in Egypt. The, that meeting revolved around funding needs for Africa by providing adaptation finance to support the African Adaptation Acceleration Program and its upstream financing facility. In terms of support to Kenya, in 2011, he initiated a project titled Triple Win of the Climate Smart Agriculture put into practice when he was working at the World Bank. The implementation of that project involved the participation of 60,000 farmers in Kisumu and Kitale regions of Western Kenya in the first agricultural soil carbon project. The project has helped transform small-scale farming by letting farmers practice climate smart agriculture and improve their livelihoods. In June 2020, here in Nairobi, he joined Kenya's fourth president, His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, to announce an important partnership between the University of Nairobi and GCA and other partners, and senators will remember participating in that, to implement a project, a program that will enhance climate resilience of Kenya and East Africa's infrastructure, and to scale up digital solutions that are critical for generating jobs for Kenya's young people. That forum was held at the University of Nairobi, where Professor, President Kenyatta was also appointed as a global champion of the African Adaptation Acceleration Pro Program. That partnership between GC and the University of Nairobi focuses on four priority areas, covering national investment pipelines, asset level investment resilience, capacity for mainstreaming climate adaptation, and disruptive technology for climate resilient infrastructure. In this context, both GC and the University of Nairobi will broker and strengthen new networks of climate change and infrastructure experts, including universities, global climate research institutions, engineering experts, and financing partners. That work revolves around four components, national infrastructure risk and resilience assessment, two infrastructure asset resilient accelerator, a master class on climate resilient infrastructure, PPPs, and disruptive technology. This partnership builds on the shared interest between the, inst the two institutions on the environment, climate change, and specific promotion of adaptation. Madam Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, so why this award? Professor Vaikoen numerous and monumental efforts to transform the global community to respond to the ex ex existential challenges that are facing human society today, and his dedication to and support for the education and job creation for young people, both as a professor and a CEO of GCA, which places such importance on promoting and advancing the goals and aspirations of our next generation for his selflessness and bold leadership, which he has brought to bear with remarkable effectiveness, for his sensitivity, discernment, and intelligence, for his integrity, decency, and, and honor, for his many contributions to our world, to the African continent, and the country, demonstrates the contribution that university scholarship makes to society and also aligns with the University of Nairobi's mission and vision. His engagement with the University of Nairobi reinforces the place of our institution as a world-class institution, linking the university's leadership in research, teaching, and community engagement on the environment and climate change, as evidenced by the existence of three institutes and centers of excellence in this university, and the numerous academic programs on these themes, some of which will also be getting degrees today. His work demonstrates the urgency of action at the global and local level to address the existential threats of climate change to humanity and the importance of collaboration between various stakeholders, including global leaders, political, financial, business, and others, the academic community, and the general public in addressing climate change as one of the triple planetary crises. Ladies and gentlemen, 
it is in recognition of his distinguished academic and leadership career in climate change and adaptation that the University of Nairobi Senate and Council have decided to award Professor Patrick Vakoyen the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you Professor Patrick Vakoyen. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Professor Vakoyen. May I now ask the Vice Chancellor to present Professor Vakoyen. That is the symbol of the presentation of the University of Nairobi of Professor Patrick Bakoyen for conferment of the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa. If Madam Chancellor, you can then sit, take a seat, and the Vice Chancellor will address Professor Bakoyen, assisted by members of Senate. Professor Vakoyen will now kneel for the Chancellor to confer the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Thank you. I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa and by my authority and that of the entire university give power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. And this is for you to support the University of Nairobi degree. Certified. <laughs> Thank you. Play his certificate of confirmation. <laughs> 